This is the new Frogger Home video game. Ribbit. It's just like the arcade game. Very lifelike. Ribbit. See, you have to hop Frogger past these cars and trucks. Ha, missed. Ribbit. Past the snakes, onto the logs, oh, and the alligators in the river. Ribbit, ribbit. And back home to his lily pad. Phew. Frogger is absolutely ribbiting. The new Frogger Home video game. Bring it back to your pad. Sega's arcade game, now a home video game. From Parker Brothers, the ones to beat. Frogger, from the 2600, from Parker Brothers. This is a great translation of the arcade game. The arcade game I absolutely love. I remember playing it when it first came out in my arcade. Fell in love with the game. Uh, I've seen it in pubs. I've seen it at supermarkets. I've seen it at the airport. I've seen this game all over the place. It's a very, very popular game. And I remember seeing it on Seinfeld as well. I don't watch Seinfeld, but I did watch the episode where... Uh, Oh, what's the guy's name? Oh, I forgot his name. Jerry's friend. The obsessive one. He got a frog machine, got the high score, and he wanted to unplug the machine. He's pushing it across the street, and they were playing the frog, frog music. He was trying to push it across the street. Cracked me up. Anyway, that's enough rambling about that. The arcade game was really challenging. You know, as you advance in the game, the traffic increases. You have extra enemies that appear in the river. You have a snake and some stuff up here on the riverbank that you have to avoid. It gets more and more harder the higher the level you get. It makes the game a lot of fun to play. Plus, the music is absolutely wonderful in this game. I love the music it plays in the background and at the beginning of the levels. Anyway, let's talk about the 2600 version that was put out by Parker Brothers. This is a really good translation of the game. Uh, the best translation of the 2600 is the supercharger version. Uh, I don't think I've done a video on that one yet, but it looks really good. Of course, it has extra memory and stuff to the Atari. Of course, it's going to be better looking. The Atari was limited to what could be done on it. And considering what the limitations of the 2600 was, the programmers back then did a fairly decent job of bringing the arcade type experience home with these games. And Frogger is actually really good. It has a lot of different options you can do. And, uh, it has different gameplay features and stuff that kind of expands on the arcade game. So it makes it its own enjoyable game to play. Really nice artwork on the box, like from the arcade here. You got Frogger running away from Mr. Gator there. He wants to chop him. And on the side, we have the little Frogger logo from the arcade. Got a little frog right there, and it'll give us the peace sign. Awesome. On the back, gives you some screenshots of what the game looks like, and it's very representative of the game. It's tough to be a frog. Life isn't all lazy days and lily pads. It abounds with dangers. In fact, every leap Frogger takes could be his last. Can you help Frogger survive some perils and hop Frogger home to safety? In my case, no. <laughs> I kill a lot of Froggers. Anyway, look inside the box. Nice full color manual. Goes through on how to start the game. Talks about the difficulty switches. Now here's something you can do in this game that you can't do on the arcade. If you set the difficulty switch to A and you scroll off the side of the screen, you die. That's just like the arcade. If you put in position B, you can safely scroll off the screen and come back on the other side. That's the mode I like to play. The upper left hand lily pad is really hard to get to in the arcade and on this game, but with this option B, I can do it fairly well. Still can't play the game with the darn but I play a little bit better. Talks about playing the game. You got your home base or your lily pads, you got the timer that counts down. So you only got so much time to get it across. You got the freeway, you got the river, and you got the riverbanks right here. I like how the the um, traffic changes between the levels. It gets a little bit more faster, more dense. Really makes you think about what you're going to do. Of course, you got to watch out for the submerging turtles. They turn blue and a lighter shade of blue before they totally disappear. If you're on their backs when they submerge, you die. Imagine that. A frog dies falling in water. Hmm. And of course, you have the lady frog, your little lady friend. 
Have her hop on your back, take her to your lily pad, ooh la la. Make some tadpoles to get some extra points. Yeah, watch out for the alligators. The alligators will appear in the lily pads and out in the open river as well. Don't jump into their mouth. Not good. Then you have snakes. Now the snakes appear at the upper levels and they run across the center river bank. And you got to avoid them. They run into you. Of course, you're going to die. So it, it kind of forces you not to hang out too long on the river bank. And of course, when you're hopping into your little pad, sometimes a bug will appear there. If you hop in a little pad when there's a bug, you get extra points. Hop in a little pad, it has an alligator head, you die. <laughs> and of course, there's six different games. You have three one-player games and three two-player games. You have easiest game level. You have the more difficult level, which kind of starts you at a higher level in the game, like you start at level four or something like that. I can't remember. You have the snake out there almost immediately. Then you have the speedy frogger. Holy cow, that frog moves around the screen fast. He's very uncontrollable for me. I, I double jump and end up in the river a lot. You'll probably see me do that when I actually play the game. And of course we have the cartridge that's inside this cool little holder here. I love how Parker Brothers did this. Put these cardboard inserts to hold the cartridge in place. It's really neat. Really nice label art from the front of the box. Pretty cool. So, let's hook up the old Atari 2600 Plus and we'll get some hopping going on. Atari Game loading. Runs pretty well in the 2600 plus. I love the intro music when you turn it on. It's pretty cool. Now, initially I want to play game number one, which is one player, the easiest game to play. And we have my difficulty switch set to option B, which allows Frogger to scroll off the side of the screen. You put a position A, he'll die if he goes off the side of the screen. So I want to play as easy as possible. Okay, here we go. Now the game select, we have six different games. You know, game number two is two player. You notice as you go through the games, you see one frog in the middle, or two indicates one player, two player. So game number one is the easiest frogger to play. Game number three is a little bit more difficult. And then game number five is special. Beady Frogger. He really moves around the screen. So we're going to play game number one. Music sounds nice. Because these two bands are going to play in the background as you play the game. Oh, there's a Lady Frog. This is what I like about the 2600 version. You can actually go off the side of the screen if you put the... Uh, Difficulty option to option B. Makes the game a little bit more easier. Uh, what the lady frog. Now the clicking you're hearing is my 2600 joystick that I modified to have micro switches inside. There we go. Got the lady frog. Come to my lily pad. La la. Oh, well, so much for that. Yeah, don't jump on the turtles when they're submerging, you dummy. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Lady Frog! Yes! Hop on the log of love. Ooh, there's a bug. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! Bonus points! Excuse me, madame. When you have the set to option A, where you die if you scroll the screen, the upper left-hand lily pad is really hard to get to. But when you got scrolling enabled, it's not so bad. Now the levels, as the levels advance, the traffic gets faster, more dense. You get more critters that pop out in the river up there, so we got a crocodile. And at upper levels, you have a snake, a little sneaky snake. 
that likes to roam the center island right here, the berm. And I got my lady friend through the lily pad. Time to make some tadpoles. Plenty of frog. There we go. Get those bonus points. Come on, log. Hurry up. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Really get spooched. Oh, yeah, the alligators appear inside of the little uh, leaf pad as well. You gotta be careful about that. You think it's a bug, you jump in, you get, get chomped. What's up on the gator's back? Going for a ride on Mr. Gator. Gator taxi. Uber gator. There we go. Watch out for the truck. Yeah, I don't like the submerging turtles. One more pad to go. That's to level three. It just will jump into his mouth. Oh! <laughs> Traffic a little bit more dense. Oh, hello. Jump on his back and into my lily pad. Oh, I should went down to the bug. Whoa! Wow. Didn't even break a thousand points. <laughs> so let's try the more difficult level, which starts you at a higher level in the game. And we're going to set it to option B, where I'll die if I scroll off the side of the screen. So this is more like the arcade game in this mode. Scroll off the side of the screen, Willie. Oh, I, oh, I should have went for the lady frog. Now, as I was saying earlier, when you die, if you scroll off the side of the screen, that upper left hand lily pad is a little bit more difficult to get to. I'm going to try to go for it right off the bat here. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this game. Oh, you dummy. I was supposed to jump that early. Okay, we'll put back to A. Oh, there's, there's Mr. Steaky Steak. Let's do the... Uh, Super fast frogger here. I'll put it back to B. Look how fast he goes. You gotta be really careful. He was running off. off oh! <laughs> There's just no fine tuning this one. Oh! Can you get the lowest score possible in frogger? Watch Willie play and find out. Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> That's bad. Let's go back to one. And we'll put it on position A. Where I will die if I scroll off the screen. Try a little more challenge into it. Try to get to the top. Ah! Always get that timing off. 
just put one in the pad. Get a get a bug. It was delicious. There we go. Oh, don't hop off the log, dummy. Go back down. Come on, turtles, where are you? Ring out of time. There we go. Oh no, oh no. Ah. There we go. One more lily pad. Of course, it's the hardest one to get to. Naturally. Hello, madame. And... Yes! Oh, get to the far uh, right. That one's easy to get to. Yeah, all right. Didn't have to scroll or anything. Of course, I would have died if I scrolled. It's gotten worse. Watch out for the semi truck. Hop on the back, of Mr. Gator. Boing. Boing. Oh no. Oh! ahead of myself. Wow. That was bad. I'm an uncoordinated mess. Come here, lady. Hello. Wait for the big log. Dang it. I was hoping 539. I am so bad at this game. Anyway, Pretty cool game. It's a nice translation of the arcade game to 2600. So that's Frogger from Parker Brothers for the old Atari 2600. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. <laughs>